Hi, I'm Robert Archibald, play for Unica Malaga and for the Great Britain national team. Robert, uh, congratulations first of all on reaching the Eurobasket. I know you didn't play last summer, but mm -hmm. can we expect to see you represent Great Britain this summer? Yeah, I'll be there this, this summer coming. Um, I think everyone's pretty excited to see uh, kind of the next step of the progression of the team and kind of to get a chance to see how we stack up with some of the top teams in the world. Uh, which will be a big jump from where we've been at, but uh, at the same time, very exciting. Now, you come from Scotland originally, and you went to America to play college basketball in Illinois? Uh-huh. Yeah, moved over there in almost 12 years ago now. i um, been living there since. Um, went to university, played a couple of years uh, after that uh, in the league, and been in Europe uh, the last few years. So you played in the NBA, so you're one of... Uh, did, did you ever imagine when you left Scotland that that British basketball would have a chance to be at the elite level uh, as it is right now? No, no not necessarily. It's obviously it's been very fortunate getting a guy like Will Dang involved. Um, that by itself, I think, kicks the team up a notch, um, you know, both for the way he's handled the responsibilities of it and also with the level of his play. Um, so it's, it's exciting. It's certainly not something that I, I expected. 10 years ago, but uh, you know, to, to be in that position now is, is, is very good. Do you feel that there's momentum with British basketball? I mean, is this if if Britain could do something this summer that something really special could happen with the game in the country? Yeah, that, I mean, that would be, uh, I think for people who are involved with it, that would be, you know, a, a huge bonus to, to, to kind of see the domestic game uh, begin to really, you know, step up and, and uh, you know, grow and become you know, feel a little more popular and then also a little more competitive within Europe. Because, um, yeah, I think we're, we're at the point where we have some players that are playing at a high level in Europe and, and, and in the NBA. So uh, you would hope that with the, the buzz and the excitement over the Olympic stuff, that, that you know, we'd be able to take another step. It's, uh, you don't have too many Scots in, in the squad, but you're one of them. So how, how proud are you uh, of being Scottish? Oh, very proud, very proud. Uh, it's a little bit kind of on an island at times with 11 English guys and me, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, like it's it's been a good experience, a good atmosphere in the team. There's a, a little playful ribbon here and there, but nothing nothing too much. Uh, Unicaja Malaga is, is a wonderful team. Malaga, who wouldn't want to play here? Mm -hmm. um, what, what can we, what is your role here with Unicaja, and what, what can we expect to see from this team? Uh, well, you know, we, we have a good team, competitor. I think we're still kind of growing as a team. We've got a new coach this year, a lot of new players. Um, you know, we want to be as competitive as we can in the ACB and the EuroLeague. Um, so hopefully at this point, I think we're just take, thinking about taking steps forward. And, and uh, as we get closer to the end of the competition, so hopefully we'll be in the mix. Now, Aito is a coach that you actually played for in Badalona. Mm -hmm. So has it been an easy adjustment for you? Has that made things easier? Uh, it's, yeah, it's been easier for me, I suppose, than some of the other guys having a couple of years under my belt with his style because it, it, the way he coaches is a little different from a lot of other coaches. Um, How so? Just the, the, the emphasis, uh, his, you know, the attention to some of the details that he has. Uh, some of the points of emphasis are a little different. Um, so you really have to kind of dig in from the ground up again for some of the guys and trying to get them to, to approach the game and think in the right way. Okay, just say something to the people back in Scotland, if you will, in Great Britain overall. Uh, to everyone in, in Great Britain, uh, thanks for following along with us. Hope you can keep supporting uh, the national team as we go to Eurobasket next year. Thanks a lot, Robert. Okay, okay man. All right, thanks. thanks.